Four years ago, I was an active duty Marine, recently home from Afghanistan, when I learned I had cancer. People kept telling me what to do. Go back to school. Be a lawyer. Be a doctor and cure cancer. Whoa, people. <laughs> Let's eat this whale one bite at a time. Thinking law might be good. I applied for a paralegal position at a law firm that had a veterans benefit group. They represented veterans against the VA to get them what they needed. Sign me up. In the years since my retirement from the Corps, I had grown an epic beard. The hair on my head, face, neck, and chest was now one unit. <laughs> my girlfriend Taylor convinced me to groom it the night before my interview. Afterward, I was able to assemble the clippings into a small poodle. Get ready, corporate America. Here I come. My interview was with two partners. I spoke from the heart, and I got the job. On the first day, I met Bob. Now, he's a partner, around 60. Now, Bob speaks very slowly. He peers at me over his glasses. What is your full name? David Kerr. Kerr. Where does your family hail from? Bob, are we talking pre-America or are we talking Pennsylvania, New York? I believe Kerr is to be of Scottish origin. Exactly right. What is your middle Initial. E. Does E stand for Edward? Okay, so now I'm sure he's in my head, so I, I think about every innocent thing that I can come up with. Puppies, babies, baseball. Uh, people don't realize how huge a change it is going from the Marines to the corporate sector. After six years in an all-male infantry, being in a law firm with women has led to some serious issues. My number one problem, cupcakes. I don't do cupcakes. I don't even like them. But here, it's cupcakes all the time. So-and-so had a baby. Have a cupcake. Oh, it's your birthday. Have a cupcake. Firm name changes. I find a cupcake on my desk with a business card in the frosting in the morning. Uh, I let them sit until everyone goes home, and then I throw them in the trash. Another issue. There's this fancy chow hall that they call a cafe that's way nicer than any kitchen I've ever seen. There's an, an industrial strength Keurig, two microwaves, a TV, and a, a stainless steel fridge with an ice machine. Oh, and there's this fancy water faucet that... I can't figure out how to turn it on. And if this had been the last faucet on the earth, I'd have died of dehydration. I kept moving the lever up and down, getting angrier and angrier until, I, until one of the secretaries walked in. Chrissy, thank God, can you tell me how to work this goddamn thing? Sure. She walks in and turns it horizontally. <laughs> oh, dude. <sighs> then there's this strange vocabulary everyone uses. They call portholes windows. Uh, they say right and left and still, instead of port and starboard. Uh, to me, the floor is a deck. Pens are ink stits. Shoes are go fasters. You know, normal stuff. Plus, they have strange customs. I have to wear real clothes. Can't wipe my food on my sleeve. And uh, during my lunch break, I can't work out of my boots and utes. Plus, what idiot came up with the idea of a lunch break? I've had to clean up my own vocabulary. You know, most of the time, I can't, I can't say what I think. You know, I, I better not say, I want to suck start a shotgun or give him one kill. Which brings me to my next point. I don't speak Spanish. One of the attorneys is bilingual. So who gets connected to all the clients who no habla inglés? the Marine from upstate New York with limited culture. Usually these calls wind up with me speaking loudly in broken Spanglish. 
I'm pretty sure the last call ended with a client calling me the Spanish word for turkey. Now, some things I'll, I'll never get. Now, I've dealt with having cancer and being in a war in Afghanistan, but there's this contraption in the bathroom that truly terrifies me. It has this black furry thing and this red furry thing. And there's this red button on the top of this long lever. You know, I, I, I look at this thing every day and I try to figure out what it's for. One day, I worked up enough courage to press the button. <laughs> it scared me so much. I, 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 I've never touched it again in my life. Uh, my coworkers appreciate having a Marine around, uh, even if I use knife hands to use when I talk. Uh, so they don't seem to mind our differences. Last week, I accidentally bumped into my boss, and I zipped around so fast into a fighting stance. I, uh, I told her it was because I thought for a second I thought she was a Taliban. I figure I'd have to keep them all on their toes, <laughs> not to let them get complacent. So for now, mission accomplished. <laughs>